When I first started learning about human evolution and the different traits that set us, Homo sapiens, apart from other hominin species like Denisovans, Neanderthals, or Australopiths, one of the differences that surprised me the most is that we're the only species out of all the hominins that have chins. Yep, this thing right here is one of the most distinct markers of our species, even more so than bipedalism, tool use, and our large and complex brains. Also, just to clear things up, the chin I'm talking about isn't like the whole front part of your jaw, it's specifically this bony point right here, which is also called the mental protuberance. The mental in mental protuberance comes from the Latin word for chin, men thumb, not the Latin word for mind, mens, which is where our other use of the word mental, like when we're talking about mental health, comes from. And if you're wondering what a non homo sapien mandible looks like so what you would look like if you didn't have a chin this neanderthal is a really good illustration of that because you can kind of see the jaw slopes backwards rather than a modern human like myself where our jaw kind of comes up to a point instead there are a few working ideas about why our chins developed at all since they don't really have a clear purpose but most of those ideas fail in some aspects or another which means that in the interest of increasing our knowledge about our species and our evolution we need to do more research about our chins so so I guess if you want a PhD topic, you've got one right here. <laughs> if you learned something new today, please consider liking, commenting, and sharing because those are the types of things that help the algorithm get me out to more people. And if you want to learn more about the echoes of humanity's past or whatever else I feel like talking about, be sure to check out my page.